Now we are looking at the other part of this model and we can review some of the things we just spoke about. First of all, right over here, you have the gray matter. It is shown in relief in this section. Notice that it has this butterfly shape. Here we have the posterior horns on either side. Right over here is about where you would find the lateral horns. And here would be the anterior horns of uh, the gray matter. The white columns are in between. Here you have the posterior white column. Here you have the lateral white column. And here you have the anterior white column. Right over here, this would be your fasciculus gracilis. And right over here is your fasciculus cuneatus. This is your dorsal or posterior root carrying sensory information into the spinal cord. Here is your anterior root carrying motor commands along motor neurons. And the uh, posterior and ventral roots will join with one another to form the spinal nerve, which you see right over here. Here's another view of this model. And on this side, you can see the dorsal root and the ventral root joining to form the spinal nerve. On this side, the roots and the nerve is uncovered. We'll see on the other side that the dura mater is going to continue on to the surfaces of the roots and onto the nerve to form the epineurium. Here is a look at the other side. Here is your dorsal root and here is your ventral root and here is your spinal nerve. We know that this is the dorsal root because of the presence of the dorsal root ganglion, this swelling right over here. This illustrates how the dura mater is continuing onto the roots and onto the spinal nerve as the epineurium.